As the Lord said, honor the Lord with that possession. That means that with that income I have, I have to honor God. That's why the Bible teaches us to earn our possession with honesty, with, uh, with justice, brothers and sisters, that everything that comes to us, that is, uh, that is uh, when we see those things, we honor God. And uh, further, if I have that money, for example, if I have that money as a fruit of my, of my income, and I have used that entirely, brothers and sisters, do you think I have honored God? Answer. No. Do you think I have honored God by using that entirely 1,000 things? I think I did not honor God. Because the Bible teaches us to give the tenth part of our income. And one tenth of 1,000 is 100. If I have by uh, 10 million uh, income in one month, the 10% of that is 1 million. So if I consume everything, the 10 million, I did not honor God with that possession. Why? Because there is something there that has to be released from me. That I have to give away to the storehouse of the Lord. That is so, oh, by that uh, action that I, uh, I do, I will honor him. That is why... Uh, if I now remove that and put it to the God's storehouse and use the remaining, then I am honoring God. Father. What do you think? Because in the Bible there is a description there is a description of everyone who does not do that. If I will use everything of it, then the Bible will call me according to let us read Malachi chapter 3. 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 Yet ye have robbed me, but ye say, or in have me robbed thee, in tithes and offering. So, I repeat, I have not other God if I use that whole income that I have, I have received because the Bible is accusing me, I am a robber. A murder. Robber, my love is a robber. And robber, to be called a robber is not good. But, Maganda the bank tawagin tayo rubber? Hindi. It's just, it is not good for the sister. You know, robbery is a criminal offense. In, uh, Police. in the local, in, in any country, I believe. Well, And for our criminal law in the Philippines, to be something to be called, to be someone to be accused of robbery, we must have exercised the two elements of uh, the elements of it, and one is intent to gain, and uh, you get it by force. Yes, you get it by force, and you have the intent to gain. And uh, same way, brothers and sisters, in the children of God, if we use that part, brothers and sisters, as in our daily needs, then we have that intent to gain. And we have taken that by force upon us because we did not have to do that with the other people. And through that, we do not honor God in our heart. I told you nothing the first time. A verse 10, verse 10. Bring ye all the cards into the storehouse that ye may be meet in my house. And prove me now, may we say, the Lord of all, that I will not open the windows of heaven and pour out your blessings, so that there shall be not be room enough to receive it. The verse 11, I want to give it more right to verse 11. And I will rebuke the devil for your sins. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. 
Neither shall you buy stuff for fruit before the time in the field, says the Lord of hosts. So, reading verse 11, perfect security in our uh, material possessions, brothers and sisters. And, of course, in verse 10, the Lord said, Prove me if I will not bless you that more. Now, we see something in those scriptures telling us that time is our great seed. That's what I mean when I say great seed. You have a seed of a corn, and you plant that, it will produce many corn. But if you eat that corn, your seed corn, you will not have nothing to plant and no one, nothing will multiply. Brothers and sisters. So I say in this verse because God, God challenged us. See, I will not bless you. So time is our seed grain, brothers and sisters. One thing is, uh, sometimes if you are asked, the people ask, are you paying your tax? Maybe in our hearts and minds we say, uh, I cannot afford to give my tax because if I am earning 10 million pesos, then the one million pesos is Taya. A million? Taya. But, another question would, would come in our minds saying that if we do not afford to give our tithes, how, how would we react with the other question if we encounter it? Being children of God, of course. Can we afford that God will remove His security to our potential? Of course we cannot afford. Because if God will not protect our, our substance, the one is giving us, then verse 11 of Malachi, chapter 3, will not be affected to us. That God said, I will, I will rebuke the robbers for your sake. As you said, you seek you, ah, that, that there's, uh, in the field, says the Lord, neither shall you buy cast for fruit before the time of the field. Meaning, we try to plant something, we try to plant a seed, and that it should ripen in its own season. And if it ripens, not in, it, in its own season, then of course, it will not be good. Meaning, God is in control of everything, and the giving of our time is also a recognition that God provides our needs. And we are connected in a supernatural one, beyond this physical world that we see that someone out there that we believe is the one providing our needs as he said God is the owner of silver and gold rather than us. Now if we cannot do that then that can tell us that we do not recognize the power of God. Uh, you might ask me the question what made you what made you uh, uh, what made you motivated or free, uh, feel easy? What made you feel easy to give your time? You might ask me that question. And I can give you what I am doing to myself so that anything that, can, that will prevent me to give my time will be removed out of my system. If I have something and I say I give my time and something in my flesh is preventing it, but I am rebuking it saying, hey, you don't own anything. You don't own anything. It comes to you for your protection. God owns everything. Why do you hold that? So that makes me, if my system uh, digested, digested it, brothers and sisters, and I, am, uh, I come into the full knowledge of who am I before God, then it's easy for me to give my time to God. So but with this, I hope that I have contributed something for you, for the mother, brothers and sisters. Thank you, and uh, God bless all.